Hi there, this is Alyssa from Unbusy, taking the overwhelm out of introverted mom life. This is episode 162. Today, we're talking about what not to do when you're planning for the week. Pop quiz time. What do you do when you're in the middle of a horrible, no good, very bad week? A, stay in your pajamas all week and complain to anyone who will listen. B, hope like I'll get out that next week's better. C, change something on purpose to make sure next week's better. I'll bet you know which one's the right answer. C. But it's awfully hard to determine what that concrete make it better action ought to be, which is why I've made you a free download to figure out what that change should be for your week. Scroll down for your clear cure, for your free clear the calendar cheat sheet, as well as a quick don't do this checklist for your weekly planning sessions. Is your calendar about to explode? Is your schedule stressing you out every time you look at it? Discover exactly what you need to do to banish the overcommitted woes. Get instant access to the Clear Your Calendar cheat sheet so you can quiz the, quit the busy. It's time to de-stress your schedule right now. I've put the link for you in the description below. First up, here's mistake number one, deciding that it's going to be this way forever, or at least till you get more sleep and just slogging through it. You have to make changes to get a happier life. All right, all right, you're convinced, but how do you know what needs to be changed? deleted, added, dropped. That's where the clear your calendar cheat sheet comes in. It doesn't know, but you do. So I designed a set of questions that'll take you through your horrible no good week and not so coincidentally along the way and cover exactly what needs changing to fix it. Now, I know that figuring out what to change is crucial, but that takes energy and sometimes we don't have it. Which is why I made you cheat sheet so you don't have to reinvent the wheel on five hours of sleep every other week. Now here's mistake number two, choosing an overly optimistic, aka crazy productive view of your week and loading up your to-do list accordingly. Don't forget to add all those complicated but tasty Pinterest recipes to your menu too. Can you say recipe for disaster? See, we keep forgetting that we're real humans and thinking that adding a few must try recipes and extra outing or two will be no sweat or at least able to be worked in. It's okay, we've got it, we'll handle it. That's the attitude mom culture wants us to have rather than I need a break right now since work is so crazy. So I'm gonna simplify anything and everything that isn't it. Or my mental balancing act can't take much more. One more thing and I'm gonna forget my groceries. And so you prescribe freezer meals, frozen pizza and those 50 cent a piece burritos from the freezer aisle until you're out of the crazy stretch. Basically, you've got to recognize when you're in a tough spot, prioritize taking care of yourself and then do whatever it takes to get back on an even keel. Now for mistake number three. So you finally decide to go simple. You're not going to leave things the way they are, but neither are you going to embark on some ambitious productivity overhaul of your life while you're nursing. Great, but have you forgotten this last key thing? You must evaluate each week, just a tiny bit, to find out what to do better next week. And no, not in an exercise 10 minutes longer a day type of way. We're after useful change here. Things like move bathroom scrubbing to post lunch when I've got that burst of pre-nap energy or give myself five more minutes to get the kids to the van before the doctor's appointment. Not pie in the sky, if I was a mythically productive mom, do better tweaks. Real practical, this is how my life works stuff. Case in point, just this week, my notes to self included move weekly prep to Thursday afternoon because it goes a lot faster than on Friday morning. Don't know why, it doesn't matter. I'm moving it to where it works for me. I don't have to know the energy reason behind the why every single time. Just do it. So now that you know the why behind that, always evaluate your week advice, what do you need to do? What I'd suggest is use that clear your calendar cheat sheet as the foundation for a new rhythm. Each week at a time and day that works for you, go through your week, see what worked and what didn't, make those notes to self and then transfer them to your calendar or planner so they actually get done. In other words, see change and make it happen. So here you go. Download your reset and may your horrible, no good weeks slip away in the rear view mirror, never to return with that same intensity. Go forward into a better, lighter future, not a fairy tale version of an ideal mom life, because it's yours, tailored to you, to your family's needs. It's all here waiting for you. When are you going to start your easy eval process today? Is your calendar about to explode? Is your schedule stressing you out every time you look at it? Discover exactly what you need to do to banish the overcommitted woes. Get instant access to the Clear Your Calendar cheat sheet so you can quit the busy. It's time to de-stress your schedule right now. I've put the link for you in the description below. Have a wonderful day.